Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over uh, just kind of cleaning up the look of the Riviera menu here. So I've got the Riviera menu, every, all the menu items are in that I want. Um, I just want to clean up the look a little bit. Um, first, I want to take a look at this Carpaccio and see how this, this description extends way out um, past the other ones. Kind of gets fat and then gets skinny again. I'm not sure I, I like the looks of that, so we're just going to go ahead and clean that up a little bit. Now, you can see here we have these this description on two separate lines um, with the price falling tucked into the uh, description. Anyway, now for some reason it's coming out all one line, and what that is is because we have on here wrap lines. So we just unclick that and hit OK and there it pulls it underneath. Now the one thing you'll notice also sometimes the spacing ends up a little screwy here like you see how it's over one that just means that instead of just hitting enter here to go to the next line we gave it one space so we're going to go ahead and go even there just kind of clean that up a little bit Again, we got on menu, it's under Riviera apps, it's under starters. There we go. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing here with wings. And you can see here there's a double space. That means it's probably wanting to go on the other line, but we don't have we have that wrap line things clicked. So here we we'll just unclick it. There you go. Alright, so another thing I want to look at is I'm going to go ahead and do the margins. It looks to me, see we have no margin down here at the bottom. We got all this space at the top. So here we're just going to go into page setup and see here our margins. We got 0.05 at the bottom and 0.5 at the top. So I'm going to change this to, let's just do 0.1 and we'll change the bottom to 0.1 also. We'll make it even all the way around. See how it brings that closer up to the top? Gives us a little bit more space. Now you'll notice here that the add chicken shrimp and went down in our starters. That's because this is actually a, a floating text that we put in. If we double click on this, you can see here it says floating text. You go ahead and you type your text in. This is what's going to be, and it's on the menu. So floating text means you can take this and you can move it anywhere you want on the menu. If I can leave it there. But we want it nice and clean and lined up underneath here. You know what, and maybe we'll put, just so customers notice it, maybe we'll put a couple stars in there. And now notice here that everything is in um, lowercase letters, but on here it's uppercase. That's because what we've done here in the font is chose the uppercase. Actually, in our formatting for the whole menu, it's saying that we want all uppercase, either big or small. Which, with this font, it's kind of nice, kind of easy to read. So hit OK, you can see our stars went in there. Slide that over a little bit. Now, this is looking a little tight in here with that floating text. So I'm going to give a little bit more space here on the starters. So we're going to do space before. So we have 0.03 here. We're going to change this to... Let's change it to 0.1. Oop. I'm sorry, let's change it to change it to 1. Oh, a little too much. Uh, let's go 0 0.05. Nope, not enough. How about 0.5? There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we can actually drop this down a little bit. There we go. Now you can see here, since we move stuff around, we have this one again that has moved. So this, you can see my small and my large aren't really lining up exactly over my thing here. So I'm going to change the spacing here. 
move that over just a little bit. All right, so now we got that lining up, that lining up. I like the looks of my my spacing in between here and my starters and and down below. Um, all my menu items look good. So we'll look at page two. Let's see. We're gonna. This one looks a little tight in here, and then a little more over here. So you know what? Let's try two things. We'll go ahead and we'll do. Let's see what this looks like. We'll drop this down and get rid of wrap lines. And we'll drop this one down. And we'll get rid of wrap lines. And we'll drop this one down. Delete that space, and we'll get rid of wrap lines. Okay, so now we're kind of tightening up a little bit. Now you can see here we have a lot of space in between here and here. So let's tighten this up just a touch. We'll do the space before, and what do we do on the, the last one? We'll go up and look. Starters. Oh, well, we did a lot of space because of this thing. So let's see if we can get this to space out a little bit. Right now we got 0.22 and we want to reduce that a little bit. So let's go 0.12. Yeah, it's a little better. Now this one, I want to tighten that up a little bit. So let's change that to point. Four, five. There you go. See how it brings that nice and tight up against the entrees there? Um, let's see. What do I like? Everything else looks pretty good. Um, maybe we'll do with this Mabel's recipe here. Why don't we change it to, let's put a little something in here, like, since, nineteen sixty-five, whatever. It's all marketing, right? There we go. Now, I think everything is looking pretty good right now. Kind of like the looks of that. We can go ahead and move this up a little bit. Get it centered. Because sometimes you run the risk of down here, um, if it's too low, it's going to cut off when you print. Um, yeah. I think as far as the looks go, I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we'll do save. So now we save that. And we'll go ahead and do create PDF because we always want to have a printable copy now we have to put this in the Dropbox menu that people at the Riviera can access so right now our Dropbox let's find oh Riviera spreadsheets that's one that they can access and we'll go ahead and let's make a new folder And since we have Richie's menu there already, we'll menus, and we'll go ahead and open that menu or open that folder. So now we're in the menu folder, Richie's menu. We'll change this to Mike Edit, just so we know what it is. All right. So now. We've saved that in Dropbox. If we give it a second, you'll see here it'll pop up. Um, on my home computer, there you go. Richie's menu, Mike, edit has been added. So basically that means I can now pull that menu up on any computer that I have Dropbox in. 
So I tell you what, I'm still kind of not real excited about the spacing here. So let's go ahead and we'll do, we'll change the spacing. This one we're going to do custom. We'll do space after. And we'll just, so we're at point 0.3 now and we want to, let's say we want to go point 0.5. Let's see what that looks like. Now let's do just a little bit more. Change it to point 0.75. change it to zero. Oh, whoa. What happened there? Ah, okay. It's point so let's change it to under pasta. Make sure we're working on the right one. We're working on menu heading. Let's do 0.075. There we go. That looks good. That gives a little bit more space. Kind of lines it up a little bit with here and here. So, looking good. We like it. We'll go ahead. We'll save it again. And then we'll go and do create PDF menu. Again, we'll put it under Dropbox. And we'll put it on the Riviera Spreadsheets. Save it. Replace. Yes. Now we always want to remember to save. Whenever we have a copy that's done that we want to send out to the restaurants, we want to save it under that PDF. We can edit and do whatever we want, but once we save that PDF, that's the one that's going to get... Um, printed at the different restaurants. So I'm thinking I like this. So we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Okay. Thanks. Um, there's a lot more in Menu Pro that we can go over, but for now that's probably good.